Hey everyone, I'm Matt and you're watching Broke Film School Extra Credit. Now these extra credit episodes are essentially bonus mini-sodes for topics that don't necessarily warrant a full Broke Film School episode. Anyways, let's get into it. Today I'd like to dispel a common rumor I hear around the studio I work at, that Super 35mm sensor is the same as a full frame sensor, which it's not. I often have students come up to me telling me that an APS-C camera like the Sony A6500 that I'm shooting on right now isn't good enough for them because it doesn't have a full frame sensor like the C100. What? See, APS-C and Super 35mm sensors are virtually the same size. Now, I don't know exactly where the confusion came from, where people think that a Super 35mm sensor is similar to the ones in the Canon C100, Sony FF7, Ari Alexa, or Red Epic W is the same as a full frame sensor that's in the Canon 5D, Sony A7S, or the new Red Monstro 8K. A Super 35mm sensor is closer to an APS-C sensor than it is a full frame. And let me show you. As you can see side by side, the APS-C lens covers the C100 sensor whereas the A7S II has significant vignetting. And this vignetting is caused by using a lens that doesn't cover a full frame. Now in comparison, let's look at footage using the same cameras but with a full frame lens, the Sigma Art 24-70. And as you can see, there's no vignetting. Now let me get to where I think the confusion comes from. See, until the DSLR revolution came about with the Canon 5D Mark II, filmmakers didn't shoot on 35mm full frame. They shot on Super 35mm which in the filmmaking world, for all intents and purposes, was full frame. Yeah, it's a little confusing. Photographers and filmmakers have been using the same terminology for their film stock for decades, but it wasn't until filmmakers started using cameras predominantly made for photography where it forced us to learn the difference. Here's a visual diagram made by Bar Lens that really shows you the difference in both film stock. Also, if you want to see how it compares to both APS-C or APS-H sensors, I found a diagram on DP Reviews Forum by forum users Blue Sky. And there you go. Now, if I did my job right, you guys should now know the difference between a super 35mm sensor and a full frame sensor. Now, before you go though, I'd like to tell you about our back to school special happening August 27th to August 31st. Now, every day that week, we're going to be having new Broke Film School content. So, if you want to keep updated, make sure you subscribe down below, hit that bell button. If you like this video, make sure you thumbs up, comment. If you have any requests, make sure you tweet at MyC Productions with the hashtag Broke Film School. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.